Hi guys, in this short video I'm going to show you how I made a little rainbow cake. Now my rainbow cake is part of a bigger cake of hot air balloons, but it took me quite a while to make it so I thought I'd break it into two videos. And the rainbow, which is the nice simple bit, I'm going to do first and then in a few days time I'm going to put up the video of how I made the hot air balloons. So I started with a cake card and it's 12 inches and I don't want a full circle so I'm going to cut a little bit off the bottom so that I've got an arch for my rainbow. Now just be careful when cutting. You may notice I try and keep one of my hands out of shot now for a little while as I did slice through it with the craft knife. So I've just got a circle for the middle and you'll see my hands have got much hairier. <laughs> Richard came and cut the rest um, so I could sort out my other hand. So Richard's been cutting for me just before he's made it all the way through with the craft knife. I've stopped him because I don't want it to come off completely. I want it to bend. And this bit here that I've got is like the bottom of my cake card that I cut off earlier and we're going to kind of bend it into an arch because this is going to hold up our cake. So can you see I drew another arch under that one and lots of little lines and I'll show you in a second what I'm going to do with that. So I'm just going to draw a line now across the bottom now. Roughly the width of the cake that I'm going to put on. So it's quite a thin cake although I should have probably drawn this line a little bit deeper. So can you see I've cut this off. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it till it follows the arch that we've cut in there. So the top arch, the one that's Almost cut all the way through the board, but not quite. So it's gonna go on there like that. So I'll just cut this off. Or I'll mark whereabouts I want it to come to. I want it to just come to sort of the bottom edge of my board. If you wanted, if you've got a longer piece, you could bring it along the archway and along the bottom of the rainbow as well. Mine was just a little bit too short to do that. And then I'm gonna cut that middle bit out with the scissors. I'm keen not to do too much with the craft knife after my accident earlier. And then I'm going to cut along these little lines. Now this card is pretty thick so it is quite tough for me to cut through. Not very neat lines at all that I'm cutting but that's okay it's all going to be covered up. We're not going to see it. And can you see they're going to fall back like this. So this is what I meant earlier when I was trying to explain how the arch was going. So the silver side of the card, the cake card, is going to come into contact with our cake. And then these little bits that I'm cutting at the moment are going to fold under the arch to hold the arch in place. But I'm going to need some cake now, the shape of my rainbow. So it's just a 12 inch round cake that you would cook for this. Now I had a sheet cake and I'm going to be honest, this one was ready made. Usually I do bake but this one was here ready made and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to use it because it's easy today. And I'm going to cut out the shape of that rainbow. So remember you can do this just from a round cake as long as it's the same size as that cake card that you started with. So I've cut out the arch out the middle as well. And don't worry too much if it does break when you're picking it up. But I can stick that back together once it's on my cake card. Okay, so I'm not sure how I keep changing the lighting. I am going to have to use my hot glue gun now to glue this arch onto these tabs. Now, it's really important these tabs, can you see it under the arch? So that the hot glue doesn't ever come into contact with our cake. So this is under our cake board but it will not be touching the cake itself. So that arch of card, cake card, is in between those little tabs we've made. Okay, and that's where it sits. So it should stand up like that. Okay, now I'm just lay it back down. I want to cut it into layers so that we've got buttercream in between so that if people slice it sort of going downwards, we've still got those buttercream layers. So I'm just gonna lift it. Let's do this in pieces. So I'm gonna put plenty of buttercream on the edge and a little bit onto the board just to hold it in place just in case it wants to slip once I've stood the rainbow upwards. Let's do the same on the other side. Okay, then we're gonna put our next layer down. So the same on the top of that one, a bit of buttercream, and then we'll put that top arch on, like so. Then I'm gonna cover the whole thing in buttercream. Now usually I use ganache, but I thought, oh, it'd be nice to use buttercream this time. I would say if you're worried about your rainbow not being very sturdy when you stand it upright, then swap for ganache instead of buttercream, because it will give you a firmer finish. I'm going to go all the way around in my buttercream. So smooth it off the best you can and then I'm going to cover it in a layer of white fondant. Now I've used the Renshaw's Extra for this one but what I'm going to do is put links in the description box below the video to everything that I've used. Just going to put some cuts, can you see in the bottom of the white, just so that it pushes into that little archway without tearing too much. And I'm going to press tightly all the way around. Now I've done it in white fondant rather than the rainbow colours to start with as I was worried that if I didn't get my colours close together, the buttercream would seep out in between sort of each stripe of the rainbow. So it does mean there's probably a bit more fondant than I might have liked on this. So you can roll it out much thinner than mine if you like. 
or if you prefer you can put the rainbow stripe straight on without the white underneath layer like what I've done. I'm just going to cut it off all the way around the edge. Now the back of my rainbow is just cake card at the moment so we will pick it up in a little bit and ice the back but we're going to put the stripes on the front first. So let's just see if it stands up. Yeah so that's standing up on its own and um, we're going to use a variety of different colours for our rainbow. Now these ones are quite soft, um, quite soft fondant so just be careful when you're doing it. Maths is not my strong point and I wasn't very good at dividing this but I decided each one was going to be about an inch thick, each of my stripes. I've tried to divide my rainbow in half first so I've just put the center line on and then what I'm going to do is work from either side of that center line rather than marking every line on there. So I'm going to start with my green stripe so roll it fairly thin and we're going to cut a little strip and then you can just put a small amount of water onto the white underneath where the stripe's going to go. So the next one is just going to be my yellow one so just do exactly the same thing try and cut it a similar width if you can to the green one and I've cut it off just as it starts to go underneath on the underneath of the cake so I haven't let it go all the way to the very back you can if you want to so just exactly the same with the blue so the blue one's going to go under my green and then my last one my purple one well it's not my last one but the underneath one um, I've kind of just cut a big arch rather than a strip because I want it to go all the way down can you see to the bottom of my cake so push that into the arch and then cut off all that extra from there so we've got two more colours to add now to the top. So we're going to have an orange strip just above the yellow one. And you can see there's not a lot of space for my top colour of stripe, which is I'm going to go for pink rather than red. But because it's going to go over the top towards the back, it will look like there's more of it anyway. So it's okay that from the front, it's quite a thin strip. So I'm going to push it tightly around the edge, pushing it in at the bottom. I'm not cutting the pink off around the edge. What I'm going to do is put some greaseproof paper on the top and flip that over. Okay now we're not going to be eating any of this back bit of the cake but it's still essential that the fondant sticks to the back to hold the cake on otherwise the cake will fall off the front. So if you need to just put a little bit of water under that and we're going to cut all the way along so it looks like a stripe so it matches basically the front. And we're just going to repeat what we did at the front but this time we'll start from the top going down so it'll be orange stripe next, yellow, green, blue and I ran out of space for my purple one but I'm not too worried I cut it just a little bit short so I'm just going to nudge it down okay I did leave this overnight so that the fondant firmed up and then it was easy enough for me to pick it up and put it in place on my cake so there it is all done on my cake so it's a fairly simple cake but we've managed to get the rainbow to stand up on this one and of course you can keep it on its own if you prefer not to do the hot air balloons you can just make some little clouds to go either end now I am going to show you how I make the clouds and the hot air balloon in my next YouTube video so keep your eye out for that one coming soon I hope you've enjoyed the video thank you for watching if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below you can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.